Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the topic of how to get Pinterest API keys, or auth tokens. If you've ever wondered how to get your hands on a Pinterest API key, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Step 1, Understanding the Pinterest API Before we dive into the how-to, let's understand what a Pinterest API is. The Pinterest API is a set of functions that allows developers to access and manipulate Pinterest data. This includes data about pins, boards, users, and more. With the Pinterest API, you can create and manage pins and boards, fetch user and board data, search for pins, boards, and users, and track user actions with the Pinterest Conversion API. Now, let's move on to how you can get your Pinterest API key. Step 2. Getting the Pinterest API Key To get your Pinterest API key, you'll need to create an app on the Pinterest Developers platform. Follow these steps correctly. Go to the Pinterest Developers website and log in with your Pinterest account credentials. If your account is already verified, you just need to agree to their developer account terms and conditions. Okay, now that you have a Pinterest developer account, let's create your first app. Click on the Connect App button to get started. Fill in the details about your app, such as your app logo, app name, and owner's name. Then type your website URL and privacy policy page URL. In this field, enter a short description of your app and how it functions. Below are three questions to tick about your app's developer purpose, use cases, and audience. Answer these questions according to your needs. After you've filled in the details, click on Submit. Once your app is created, you'll be redirected to the app dashboard. We have chosen trial access to the Pinterest API, so it must be approved. It will be approved within two days, until then, you can use the test version. Click the Manage button next to the created app to get access tokens. Here, you can generate your test API key. After you get approved, you will get the proper Pinterest API key. Step 3. Authentication and Access Token Now, you might be wondering, what about authentication and access tokens? Well, to use the Pinterest API, you'll need an access token. This token is used to authenticate your app's requests. To get an access token, you'll need to redirect users to Pinterest's OAuth dialog, where they will authenticate and approve your app's permissions. Pinterest will then redirect users back to your app or website with an access token. For proper redirection, you should add a redirect URL to the Pinterest app. You can add it here after you get approval. And that's it. You're now ready to use the Pinterest API. Remember, the world of APIs is vast and full of possibilities. So, go ahead, explore, and create something amazing. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. If you have any issues, open a question on the MineX Tech Forum. Until next time, happy coding!